What's going on you guys? Okay, so Chip has already been out here. He has filmed another video and you guys have kind of seen what we were doing to the house. However, I am filming a vlog style of my, bro my brother being here, our road trip, things like that. So I wanted to kind of show you guys what we've been up to. And so we have been painting this beautiful stinking house. Um, if you guys remember, we had that weird green color and the brown and the the burnt orange color and so we have just been like working away out here and it's been absolutely wonderful. My brother is in town um, and you guys will get to know him a little bit through the video. Um, he is not used to filming himself and being on YouTube and things like that so um, it'll be a little bit fun to kind of introduce him to that. Um, we've just been really working away at these this house. We have all the sides done, all the white done, most of the black done. Uh, we have a couple of peaks left to do on the house, um, but it has been my absolute favorite. I love working on the house. I love working on this property and just like making it my own. All right guys, so we just been finished painting, putting away all the stuff and I made us some fat head pizza dough and everyone is making their own pizza. Um, we do have the recipe up on Keto Savage website and it is also a YouTube video so we will link that below if you guys are interested in this deliciousness. But Robert. What's up? What did you have on yours? I had uh, ground beef, I had some uh, pepperonis, had some bell peppers, olives, and of course some anchovies. What are you drinking? Uh, whiskey with Zevia Coke. Mm. Breakfast of Champions. What are you gonna have on yours, Chad? Got yes. ground beef. Ground beef. Peppers. Pepperoni. Olives. Pepperoni. There's some of this Primal Kitchen unsweetened pizza sauce. Call them out of olives. Avocado oil. Those are the same things. He's also having. No, he's just having a whiskey and ice. Yes. And um, mine is over in the oven right here on broil, warming up. Have the same stuff. And I am having this root beer Zevia with some vodka, and it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Going to the dump. Going to the dump. Where, where did all this stuff come from? That barn. This didn't even have of it. That barn. That is all the way over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. We guys, we've showed you guys before. Um, it has been full of old stuff. There was, um, it was a barn before. It was also a school before. So there's a bunch of old stuff. We saved some things. We're getting rid of uh, all the other stuff. Um, there's just a bunch of junk. There was some rats that made homes in there and things like that. So there's a lot that we have to get rid of. And when we invite family into town, we uh we don't we don't play, we just put them to work. So we're gonna go uh take this to the dump and I'm gonna finish painting some things and should be good Saturday. Ooh, baby, what you got going on here? This is our fan, our outdoor fan, and we were gonna buy a new one, but I am a money saver and so we're gonna just paint them and see how it goes using the same paint as the exterior of the house. And also, let me just show you guys how stinking hot it is out here. Um, we are very burnt, can you see that? Yeah. And then the back of my leg. Can you see all that? Looks sexy to me. It's hot. We were burnt after like the first day and this is our third day out here. But it's been awesome. We've done a really good job. We actually got it done rather quickly. Um, it's been the majority with me and Chad. Robert's been jumping in here and there, but Robert's mostly been working on the barn and getting up the, uh, what are those called? Beam structures. Chad and I have been out here a pretty good bit this weekend working on that, so checking out. As soon as you walk in, we have one beam right here. Um, we realized that the beam that was here, if you'll look at this, I don't know if the lighting will be okay, but this beam was supporting this entire column and it was just barely holding on to this piece of wood here which is rotten so it was not structurally sound whatsoever 
So rather than relying on that to hold the building up, we decided to put a six by six beam right here at the doorway. So a little inconvenient, but much safer. This beam was already here. It's pretty solid. This beam was already here. It's pretty solid, but it's not really well put together. I mean, there's like, you know, three rocks and a block that's sitting on, so not optimal. I might wind up replacing this at some point, but the time being, we're gonna leave it be. Look at all this trash. Yeah, there's a bunch we of trash. already took one trailer full, and there's so much trash in here. Here is another beam, and we left the beam that was here there because it's already tied in. It's like a, it's cut to fit those two, those floor joists, so we left that there. We cut another six by six, jacked it up, put it in there, and then we bolted with a bunch of lag bolts these metal straps on all on three sides. So that should be pretty solid. And then the other beam is right here. And I put a whole bunch of T brackets up at the top of that. Again, to what was the old beam. So we raised this ceiling by about, what do you think, probably 10 inches at least, I would imagine. Probably about at least 10 inches. So. Still a little bit of a sag, but much less sag than there was there. So we're happy with it. We're, we feel safe underneath it. Now we just got to finish ripping out all the old siding, the door, the roll-up door, and just the crap that's in here. Take it to the dump and get it more or less fixed up and functional. But that is the barn. All right, you guys. So I have not taken a shower yet or done anything to myself, but... I did cook some dinner. We have some Brussels sprouts going right here. We got some stuffed chicken in the oven. And I even made some keto uh, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies for afterwards. It's gonna be delicious. Um, Robert and I might have to do a Keto Savage Kitchen episode on the cookies and on the chicken because it is stinking delicious. All right guys, so to close up this whole video, I know there were some random clips here and there. We talked a little bit about painting the house. We talked a little bit about food and things that we were eating and things like that. Um, but I really wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit about family. Um, my family in particular is absolutely stinking amazing. Um, my family's always been really close. We've always been super supportive of each other. No matter what we're going through in life, no matter where they're living, we've had siblings that have lived in Africa and India and Brazil and all of these places. And um, we all support each other. Um, that is something that I absolutely love about my family. Um, you guys know that my sister came out here earlier this year in January. She helped me do a bunch of things on the inside of the house and was just really excited for me. My brother did the same thing. He came out here, flew out, away from his family, away from the kids, away from his wife, um, flew out here to spend time with me and to help me paint our house and the experience of having my brother out here and spending time together and doing hard things together. It was stinking hot and humid the entire time. We are both burnt super badly, um, but it has been such a wonderful time. As my brother was here, I was thinking a lot about my family and how much I really appreciate them supporting me in all the things that Robert and I are doing and my entire family lives on the west coast. We are not close. It takes a couple days to drive it. It takes, you know, it's expensive to fly it, um, yet they're all still willing to come out here and help me and enjoy experiencing this part of my life with me and that means more than words could describe um, for my family to want to be a part of this part of my life and me getting my first home as a married couple and clearing out land to get animals and painting my house and um, it just means a lot that they would be willing to come out here and do that with me away from their families and um, to just kind of experience this with me so I'm really grateful family is everything and I really hope that like over this last year of people not being able to see their families and people not being able to travel and people, you know, being confined or quarantined or whatever that we now recognize if we didn't before 
how stinking awesome family is, how stinking awesome support is, and just choosing to be excited about someone else's life means the world um, to that person. And it's as simple as making a trip. It's as simple as calling and saying, I'm proud of you. Um, I'm just so grateful for my family and I really hope that I can give back to them what they've given to me in that support and in that love and um, whatnot. So our house looks so beautiful. I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy with it. Um, Robert and I are gonna just keep working on things. We're gonna build some fences. We're gonna be putting in you know, chicken coops. We're gonna be putting in, doing a whole bunch of different things. So I hope you guys will enjoy uh, following along for that. But we're gonna go enjoy and we're gonna adventure around Fayetteville a little bit. And, um, and then we're gonna hit the road tomorrow. So we'll see you guys in the next video or so um, about our road trip. So we'll talk to you guys later.